Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting tricky Olympiad question today. Minus 3 to the x equal to 3. So this looks like kind of weird question because right here we have minus, it's not like a question that we like prefer to solve because this is kind of weird question and we don't like to solve it because we have minus and it's maybe a little bit complicated but I wanted to show you how can we solve it, how can we prove about roots right here, how can we find maybe complex roots, all roots right here, so I hope you will enjoy this video. Okay, first of all, for example, we if we if we won't have parentheses, like right here, we, if we want if we don't have parentheses, we'll have like minus three to the x equal to three. Okay, we don't have parentheses. Let's try to to solve it without parentheses. I want to show you one one trick. So if we don't have parentheses, right here, multiplying by minus one, so three to the power x equal to minus three. Yeah. So if we have this expression, three to the x equal to minus 3, we can easily use our graph method right here. So 3 to the x, this is our increasing exponential function, so this is our 3 to the x, and minus 3, this is our constant right here. So as you can see, there is no point of intersection right here. So this function 3 to the x even does not intersect with x is x right here. So it doesn't, and with minus 3, this is like not possible, like they intersect. So right here, we don't have any roots, so there is no possible and no no solution. This is about when we don't have parentheses, yeah? But we have parentheses in our case, but let's try to prove that we don't have any real roots. So minus 3 to the power x equal to 3, yeah? We have this situation, so from the beginning. And we don't have, we, we have parentheses right here in our case. Let's try to prove that right here we don't have any real roots. So this is, this function looks like, like, looks like that, so a to the power y equal to x. And I write it as a variables, yeah? And how can we solve this function? This is our logarithm, because we can write it as log log x base of a equal to equal to y. And if we plug in our elements from here to our log, we will have like log, right here we'll have base of minus 3, right here 3, equal to equal to x. And I want to go back to our log um, as we have in our school, so we, we need to know about three log properties. So if we have log, we need to know that our a need to be positive. Our a is our, is our base, our base is negative. So right here, this rule does not work in our case. Okay, let's go to the second step. We need to know that a is not equal to 1. And for right here, a is not equal to 1, this is negative, so a is not equal to 1, this is good for us. Okay, and the third step, x is, is positive 1, x is greater than x is greater than 0. And this is correct, yeah, this is good for us, x is greater than 0. But one really interesting moment, we need three, three steps works right here. We don't need to, like, two works, one, one is not working. We need only three steps working. One is not working, so this is not possible. And right here we'll have no no real solution. So this is explanation for those who want like to see that this is no real solution with, with log and with this with this step that we have at school. One is not working, so no real no real solution. But a lot of students ask me what about complex roots? How can we find it? We don't have real solution in this case. We don't have without parentheses. This is for example, this is not our case, but we if, if we don't have parentheses, we don't have solution. Right here we don't have solution. What about complex solutions right here? So let's try to solve it and let's try to find our complex solution. So we have minus 3 to the power x equal to equal to 3. So from here I want to show a really good trick how can we find complex roots right here. So take a look closely. A minus right here we can write as i square, yeah? So if you know a little bit about complex number we can write it as i square. So 3 times i square which is equal to minus 1, we, this is our minus, and we read this to the power x equal to equal to 3. Yeah, and right now take a look closely. If we have situation like that, if we have a times b to the power x, we need to raise right here a and right here this element. We need to raise both element to the power x. As a result, right here, three to the power x times i square to the power x equal to equal to three. And real quick from here, right here, we need to multiply. This is the same rule. So as a result, three to the x times i to the power two x equal to 3. Yeah, so we have right now situation really good for us because we have this complex variable right here and we need to find our complex roots. Okay, let's try to let's try to solve this interesting problem. 
how can we solve it? Let's take log on both sides. If we take log on both sides, so log on the left hand side, so 3 to the x times i to the power 2x <coughs> equal to log equal to log 3. Yeah, and right now we need to remember or we need to learn about the log property. So if we have a log of a product, we can write it as a sum. So for example, log first, that we can write it as sum of two logarithms. Yeah, log this one plus log this one. So multiplying can be changed by addition and of course division can be changed by subtraction. So let's write it. We will have log 3 to the x plus log i to the power 2x equal to log 3 equal to log 3 okay we have this this situation i hope you understand this step and right now our log we know a really good property this x jump right here this x jump right here so as a result x times log 3 plus 2x times log i equal to equal to log 3 yeah and right now take a look closely we have our x and we have our x right here, we can easily factor our x because we have the same element right here. We have x in, in parentheses log 3 plus 2 log i equal to log equal to log 3. Yeah, we have this situation. And take a look closely. This is a constant. This is really good. This is a variable that we need to find. We, this is a constant. Complex number, but doesn't matter. This is a constant. And log 3, this is a constant. So as a result, if we divide both sides by this expression, we will have like our answer that our x is equal to log 3 over log 3 plus 2 log i. This is our answer our answer if you are talking about complex number so this is our complex number so complex no real roots no real roots we we prove it right here so no real roots even with parentheses even without parentheses we don't have real solution right here and no real roots and one complex root this is our answer. Tricky question, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand this explanation and I hope you will learn more about complex number, about log property. This is very like interesting, not maybe a lot of complicated steps right here, just a little bit school theory about uh, about logarithm and of course about complex number. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please support me with your like, write any comment. I really appreciate it and it's very important for me. If you, if you support my channel, it's really great to work with three really great to find a really interesting problems and I hope you will understand me and enjoy this video. So thank you for watching and have a great day. See you in the next videos.